You have no idea. I have every idea. How goodly I want to be here. Anyways, thank you very much. Um, one of the questions that I have, uh, somebody already asked, and um, it that was about meditation. Um, I live in Appreciationville, right in the middle of Satisfaction Street. So whenever, I live in Florida, and I'm very uh, blessed to live there. I open my curtains every day, and I'm grateful for the sun yeah. and the beautiful weather and yeah. everything. I have two cats. I'm single. And those cats are the best thing that ever happened to me. Every time I go... Really? Pardon? I'm sorry? Really? Yes. Because they taught me, taught, taught me so much. Every time I go in the couch and one of them gets in my lap, I just pet him and he looks at me like, like, like <laughs> you know, the eyes are so beautiful. And it's a moment that is, I can So describe. your cat demonstrates satisfaction. Absolutely. Yes. And that's exactly what I feel. Yes. Every day. I go to um, work and uh, in my drive to work, I see the birds and everything that I can be uh, thankful and appreciated it, appreciative. Um, so my question is, with that being said, a lot of people talk about uh, relationships and being with uh, another person. Cats I, are really better. Yes. <laughs> I don't feel the need to be with anybody else. I mean, I watched this show, The Big One Theory. One day, I don't know if anybody watched that, but when Sheldon uh, <laughs> is in the wedding. See that timer right there? Let's yeah. move along Okay, here. okay, okay, okay. So anyways, um, what I want to ask you is, um, do I really need to be with someone to be happy? I think I feel like I'm living happily ever after by myself with my two cats. So do, do people have to have in a relationship in order for them to be happy? You can't help but have relationships because you are not here vibrationally alone. So you're having a lot of interaction with a lot of others. And as you are paying attention to the harmonics between you and the others, then there is an enhancement. The thing that we would like to call your attention to is that as you are moving through life experience and knowing what you don't want and knowing what you do want, you've put a lot into your vortex and you are not there singularly. You have a lot of intentions relative to a lot of others. So whatever's in your vortex, as you then allow yourself to move in the direction of it, you just feel better and better and better, more and more satisfied. So to answer your question in a very specific way, there are relationships in your vortex that you will feel more satisfaction as you move toward them. And usually, not always, but almost always, when someone says to us, I've decided that I'm really not looking for a relationship. It's from a guarded perspective of not wanting to compromise or not wanting to be faced with things that might take you out of alignment. So once you are pretty sure that you are consistently in step five, you see someone who says to us, I stay in step three. I'm really good at step three. You're going to like this. Stay with us because you're going to feel a strong distinction. I really like step three. Step one is ask. Step two is source answer. Step three is line up with what you've asked for. If someone says, I'm really good at step three. In fact, I've mastered step three. I'm steadily in step three. Then that's usually from the perspective that someone says, I don't want a relationship because they do not want any ripples in their stream. They really like being in alignment. They've got this all contained, but there is always an urging from within or a calling with from within for more. And so step five is where you're not only willing to allow yourself to engage with others for the purpose of expansion but you're not worried about it because you know that step one moments can be appreciated too we'll just say it to you in really simple terms 
Your greatest expansion comes from up close in friendships with others. Because as long as you can just walk away, as long as there's no strong reason to find alignment anyway, then you don't get very good at step five. Step five almost requires a sort of steady presence of something that you have to find vibrational alignment around. Does that make sense to you? Now it doesn't mean that everybody needs to be together, but the more decisions you make in every day, the more robust the energy is that flows. And the more robust the energy is that flows, the greater the potential for joy. If you're going hundred miles an hour and you hit a tree, we say it'd be a lot easier on you if you were going five miles an hour. But isn't it way more fun to go a hundred miles an hour than it is five miles an hour in a relationship. You can go a hundred miles an hour and learn how to not hit trees. But what if I don't really, really want to have a relationship? I don't have one. Okay. So I'm, I'm good. I mean, I don't have to, because I'm, I'm happy that way. Here's the thing that we know about you and everyone else. You're always asking for more. And relationships are the fastest and greatest and most beneficial avenue to more that we know in your physical environment. So we're just asking you, just pay attention to whether what you're saying is coming out of true satisfaction or if it's coming out of a little bit of guardedness of not wanting to rock the boat. Poor, poor satisfaction, I'd say. It's what you say. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, we believe you. No, you don't. <laughs> we believe that you believe it. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, I, I feel happy every day and I don't feel any. See, uh, let me tell you. We're I'm, not trying to create in your reality. And I'm not We're arguing just explaining for my to limitations you what's in your either. vortex. Okay. I'm not arguing, arguing for my limitations here. Say either. again. I'm not arguing for my limitations. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> Okay. Whenever, whenever I, uh, in the past I had relationships, some of them were good. Some of them were not that good, well. but at the end of the day, um, at the end of every day, I was just want to go home. I was like, okay, it's time for me to go home and be alone. I don't want to, you know, want to avoid the ripples. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what if you got clear sailing? What if you're so in control of your own vibration and your own focus? What if you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and you are an unconditional liver of life? And what if you could be with someone and only see positive aspects? And what if those positive aspects just keep coming and coming and coming and surprising and delighting you? What about that? Well, maybe. <laughs> We're just saying. We've never known anyone who chose to be alone, who wasn't doing it for the wrong reasons. Really? Who wasn't protective in nature about it. And we're not saying you have to take somebody by the hand and go off into the sunset together. We're just saying relationships are the reason that you've come into this time space reality. Your vibrational vortex is a relationship example. Your desires aren't in there all by themselves. They're in there having relationships with all kinds of things, you see. Okay, I thought I had enough with my, my cats and my... <laughs> and, and my I am a, a, a Miami Heat fan too. Well, so. maybe we got too carried away with the satisfaction conversation because we want to say satisfied and more, satisfied and more. And if it's not more, you can't stay satisfied because you can't stand still. So it's got to be more and more and more. Your satisfaction mark keeps moving and 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 moving more, more, more. It's the mantra of the universe. You what if he's okay. I, I get you that. I, I understand that. But you say we have so many lives to live. So what if it's no man and to be in this life and maybe the next one, I'm open to that. Can be. Why not? There's only now there's only now and everything that you are is converging now and everything that you are is becoming more. And you're for some reason using the conversation of relationships to hold back from what your vortex is calling. If we didn't have clear view of your vortex, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We just say, okay, next.
but your vortex has something else going on to which you feel resistance so you're making up a story this is the best conversation that we've ever had with anyone because it represents the way so many people are approaching life experience and so we bring you along as a collective consciousness to the place of realizing that you are eternal beings and that you can be or do or have anything and that you've put things into your vortex and that the deliciousness of life is then to allow what you've put there to be demonstrated and to allow those thoughts to turn to things and what you're effectively saying is I've put a lot of things in my vortex but I've decided not to allow certain parts of them to evolve and the reason is because I've had some bad experiences before here's a good place for this conversation when you think about this emotional scale and you think about the worst feelings being despair and the best feelings being love and appreciation and right in the middle there is this contented or satisfied place that we are talking about so if you feel overwhelmed then having a day of doing nothing seems like a really good idea but if you feel eager and having a day of doing nothing is taking you in the wrong direction you see what we're getting at while having no relationship feels way better than having one that doesn't feel good and being in charge of your life feels way better than somebody else thinking that they're in charge of your life and being self-sufficient feels way better than being dependent on somebody else what if all of that were already resolved and you were tuned in tapped in turned on and you were already knowing your invincibility you were already knowing that you could be or do or have anything wouldn't you rather be or do or have it with somebody that's reflecting back to you in a powerful way when you hear something that's a really funny story don't you want to reflect it to someone else so that they can enjoy it in the same way that you did I did I, I tell it to my friends <laughs> no I mean these other relationships besides being a partner with somebody you get to do whatever you want to do so it's not the same you say we've just noticed that when you are interacting with someone in the same way that this time and space this time space reality helps you to focus interacting with another on a really regular basis helps you to focus even more you find out more about yourself when you're up close to someone than you do when you're not up close to someone it's just more opportunity for more discovery and the more discovery than the more opportunity for satisfaction that's all we're saying really thank good. you one one question what happened with the rapper is he doing it making it the rapper oh yes, yes. <laughs> good we've enjoyed this interaction today lots happened here are you aware yes. lots of movement in your understanding lots of movement in your understanding so just be easy about all of this we are really looking forward to our next coming together there is no homework there's just a strong encouragement to go find a relationship <laughs> there is great love here for you and for now we are complete